make me wanna eat you Every time I see you, it's like the first time I meet you Fragrance like a flower, subtle and sweet too Seductive and whatever, it might as well be see-through Yo, what's going on you guys? My name is Owen and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all having a great day so far. Today's video is going to be a showcase of five different pairs of shoes that I've been wearing a ton recently that also are extremely affordable and that you can get your hands on today. You guys know that I love to combine the high with the low, wearing like vintage and affordable pieces with my like designer, more archive pieces, whatever you want to call it. I figured it'd be best to show you guys some more affordable options out there that don't look like they'd be affordable. So let's hop right into it. I've got two pairs of boots, two pairs of sneakers, and then one pair of mules or slides. So let's hop right into the video. So starting off strong with the first pair of boots, this is probably my favorite pair that I've been wearing recently out of like my whole collection. Um, picked them up about a month and a half ago off of eBay for I think around like $85, $90 and it is this vintage pair of motorcycle buckle boots. They are absolutely stunning. I think they're so sick. A lot of people like to call these engineer boots, but I think engineer boots are a little bit more round and bulky, and they also have a rounded toe as well, whereas a motorcycle boot is more similar to a cowboy boot. It's like a slimmer silhouette, and then it'll usually have either like a pointed toe or like a squared off toe like that and then also a little bit more of an exaggerated heel. This one has a really nice Cuban heel on it. When I got this pair in, it was very stiff. It took some time to break in, but now they're extremely comfortable. Um, I brought them to Seattle when I was walking miles and miles a day, and yeah, they were fantastic. I use them a lot for the Somar shoot as well. I think this is like an overall well-rounded shoe. I think they look great with like slim pants, baggy pants, flared pants, you name it. I've tried it and it works. So yeah, I would definitely look into grabbing a pair. There's so many vintage pairs out there. You don't have to get a new one. So let's move on to the next shoe. So next up is a pair of shoes that for some reason I've gotten so many questions about people wanting the ID on these. These are a custom pair of Converse Chuck Taylors that I made like a year ago about in September of last year. I kind of go through phases of wearing these and right now they are looking messed up. Basically, it's just like an off-white pair of canvas uh, Chuck Taylor 70s with black contrast stitching all around, and then also has the monochrome logo on the inside, and then a black stripe on the back. They look so good with the G74s, um, so that's been like a regular combo for me. And yeah, I think you can customize a pair for right around like $85, I wanna say. There's so many combinations out there. I'll probably end up making another pair, so we'll see what that looks like. If you guys want the reveal of that, let me know. We also ended up using these for the G73 shoot as well, I think, which is kind of funny. So yeah, those are the Converse that everybody wants to know the ID on. There you go. Jumping over to a pair of mules. This is something I've had in my wardrobe for almost three years now, I wanna say, because I think I got them in early 2020. This is more so for the new viewers of the channel. These are my Birkenstock Bostons in this really beautiful Nubuck leather. Occasionally Birkenstock will release more high-end versions of their silhouettes um, with uh, more like luxury materials. And this pair is in a really beautiful Nubuck that has broken in so beautifully, they're so comfortable. Funny enough, this is probably the most expensive pair of shoes in this video. There's not much else to say, I just love the texture that's kind of developed on the shoe over time. This has gone from like my house slipper to my post office run slipper to the dog walking slipper to now I just wear them regularly and they're just like a staple shoe in my wardrobe. So had to show those off. Jumping back over to another pair of boots is another vintage pair that I picked up off of Etsy, I think at the end of last year. This is my vintage pair of ostrich leather cowboy boots, which is a stunning material and something I would never buy firsthand. It's got a very classic cowboy boot silhouette. The fact that they were vintage makes them so much more affordable than buying like a new pair. I got these for $170. There's much more affordable pairs out there. I was just after a very particular style and this checked all the boxes for me. I've worn them so many times, that's why the leather looks like this. 
Um, these are very, very soft boots as well, not nearly as stiff as the motorcycle boots. One of the main reasons why I wanted to get a pair like this rather than just a standard pair of cowboy boots is because of the texture. I think it adds just like a little bit more to an outfit. It kind of complicates things a little bit, adds some detail, which I love about an outfit. It's all about the subtle details. I've had a lot of questions about these recently, so that is my vintage pair of ostrich leather cowboy boots. Moving on to the last shoe, this is easily the most affordable shoe in this video. I think it's a super slept on shoe in the category of like fashion, I guess. Um, because it's not really associated with fashion, but these are my blacked out Vans slip-ons. It's a standard pair of slip-ons. There's nothing crazy about them. It's not like a special model. You guys can see it has a little blacked out tab right there. It's got the blacked out back tab, so it doesn't have the white interior. Um, and then they're actually really comfortable because they have like a plushed leather liner and most of the time I just wear them with the back scrunched down like that. So they basically act as some mules. They're extremely comfortable. Just go true to size. There's some bands or nothing crazy. I have seen a few pairs out there in some nicer materials that I might grab in the near future once these start to kick the dust a little bit, but there's still plenty of life left. So we'll keep these in the rotation. And that's it for the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed a more shorter form of content than usual. Let me know if you have any ideas for what you might want to see in the future and I'll be sure to record that for you guys. Hope you have a good day. Catch you next time, later.